Well, the replacements for two NASA astronauts who have been in space for more than nine months entered the International Space Station this weekend. Now this means Butch Wilmore and SUNY Williams can head back home after they teach the four newcomer astronauts the ins and outs of the ISS. Fox News correspondent Jonathan Seary has more from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The International Space Station is now delightfully crowded with 11 people on board. Four new members arrived overnight aboard a SpaceX Dragon spacecraft that docked with the ISS just after midnight Sunday Eastern time. Their arrival will allow four members of an earlier mission to depart the space station and return to Earth in a separate Dragon capsule that arrived in September with an American, a Russian, and two empty seats. Those empty seats are the return ride for NASA test pilots Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, who've been working on the space station since June, when their Boeing Starliner spacecraft developed thruster problems. And Houston, thank you for uh, tuning in this early morning. It was a, a wonderful day. Great to see our friends arrive. So thank you so much. The new ISS crew rotation had been traveling since Friday evening when their Dragon spacecraft launched atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from launch pad 39A right here at Kennedy Space Center. NASA astronaut Don Pettit, who's been taking amazing photos and videos from the ISS, posted this time lapse showing the Crew 10 Dragon as it approached the space station under the command of fellow astronaut Anne McLean. That is such an amazing journey. Uh, you can hardly even put it into words. Uh, the ride up on the Falcon 9, uh, orbiting the Earth for the last couple of days, it's been absolutely incredible, and it is something that none of us could do by ourselves. NASA is keeping an eye on weather conditions at splashdown sites off of Florida's Gulf Coast. That will determine when Butch and Sonny can return to Earth. Wednesday would be the earliest possibility. At Kennedy Space Center in Florida, Jonathan Seary, Fox News.